Hello everyone, welcome to your brains and this is Naveen. So in this video, we'll see a new question that is array 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now the question is given an array of integers. So written true if the sequence of numbers 1, 2, 3 appears in the array somewhere. Okay, so the question is they have given an array. So in that we have to find out is that array somewhere in the first uh, first element or last element anywhere it has to have exactly the same sequence like 1 2 3 if any element is 1 the next element to be 2 and next element to be 3 and this 1 2 3 combination can be available in any place in between the array so that's what we have to find out if it is match written true if not hidden false okay so how can we achieve this uh, it's very simple see here uh, this is an array right so in this the first character is one whatever the next character it's not two okay so we leave it and we next start with the second character so it is one so as soon as it is one the next to be two and then next to be three Suppose uh, you just check the i index, right? So uh, i th index is 1. So i plus 1 index is 2. i plus 3 index is 3. Like that. Okay. If this match exactly, then only written true. If nothing is match, it's suppose like uh, 1, 2, and here also 1 is there. So it doesn't match the sequence. So must ensure 1, 2, and 3 and see here here 1 2 1 is there so it is not correct i mean it's, it's false so now when you see here yes 1 2 immediately 3 so must and should uh, the first element will be 1 and then next to be 2 and then next to be 3 so that's what we have to check so how can we achieve this is we have to write a for loop and in that we have to check the any index element if it is 1 and next element is 2 and next element is 3 if the condition is success then true otherwise false okay let me just copy this back to here sorry back to my uh, eclipse paste okay so just for time being let me just zoom it okay uh, just for time being what i say boolean uh, results is equal to I just assume like it's a false okay let me just loop so for integer i equal to 0 i less than or equal to or less than nums dot length and then i plus plus okay so now what you have to check is if if nums of i is is equal to zero and if nums of i equal to zero then immediately next element so what could be the next element nums of i plus one is is equal to two and nums of i plus two is is equal to three okay so now i equal to 1 then next element will be 2 and next element should also to be 3 if this condition match we just say result is equal to true okay then finally written results okay fine so now here one more problem occurs what is that is see here for, for suppose i equal to 0, 0 with elements, uh, I mean index 0, index 1, index 2. Uh, that's fine. And what about if you i value is what nums dot length. So last but one character, right? Last but one index. So suppose uh, what I'm saying is suppose the 1 is there, right? This 1 is belongs to the last one, assume so in this case what happened i plus 1 
so what about i, I plus one it will be going for the next uh, element okay and that is not existing in the array index and then i plus two this is not even exist so but suppose if i itself is the last index because we are just looping through the up to last index right so if it is the last index then this will be maybe happens this one but what about i plus one it is not in the range and i plus two is not even in the range so here you get array index out of bone exception let me just find out that uh, first let me check the results let me copy this go to here and let me just paste it and click on go yes i got some success and some are got false okay one two three Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. Uh, it's not zero, it's one, right? It must be one. So one, two, three is the sequence, right? It's not zero or something. Yeah, sorry. Let me just copy this back to here. And then uh, I paste it here and click on go. Yes. See here, summer success. See, this is success because exactly three has matched up to the last index but why it is gone array index out of bound exception is c last element is one and the next element i plus one is equal to two and i plus one not in the range so you got this so how to sort out this problem is if you are going for the next two uh, indexes so make sure it's not the last index last but two index so what you have to do here is don't do for last index because anyway we are checking the i plus 2 so just do length minus 2 so last but 2 indexes will be the i value then next i plus 1 last but 1 i plus 2 is the last so that's what you have to check now let me copy this back to here and paste and click on go yes all success okay so that's hard that's what uh, the solution okay so please practice on this thank you so much for watching and we'll see the next questions in the next video thank you